So with the conclusion of Dragon Ball Super, the community has been reacting in many different ways. And here today, guys, I'm joined by comic book fan 1992, my friend Edgar. And I wanted to ask you, Edgar, what are your overall thoughts on everything that transpired in Super thus far? Because, I mean, I'm sure you already know of it. People are complaining about both sides on Goku stealing the spotlight and Vegeta not getting his time and stuff. And then we had, like, the whole thing with Hit going on. I Hello. wanted to know I wanted to know your overall thoughts that, you know, transpired towards the end of the episode um, cause I'm pretty sure you saw episode 40 and I'm pretty sure you saw all the other episodes before that. So I uh, wanted, I wanted to get your thoughts on what did you think of hit versus Vegeta? Do you think that was fair? And what did you think of hit versus Goku in and of itself? Okay. Vegeta, I kind of figured that for the hit, it was kind of basically kind of like you knew, you knew Goku was going to win because uh, Goku was going to come in because, uh, there was a post. There was a promotional art of Hit and Goku in this building, and I'm like, they're gonna go that route. And many people were calling it, and yeah, it happened. And Vegeta, I wasn't really expecting much from him. I think he had his moment in this saga, and that's really all I ever wanted because I was really like hunger for him to have somewhat of moments because. I didn't like the fact that he was kind of pushing the sidelines in the last two sagas. Yeah. And I kind of feel like, you know, at least give me something. Throw me a bone here, Toriyama. And he did. He was real it was really good. It was awesome seeing him fight this the the machine fucking dude. And yeah, uh yeah. it was awesome seeing Kabe uh, with him. That I was most looking forward to that. That was more like a training session more yeah, than a fight. Yeah. But, and I do have hopes that he will have mentored him, like he, like Goku did with Gohan in the Cell Saga. And uh, I have big hopes for that relationship going forward to the series. But uh, Vegeta, he had his moment. That's really what, what, what about the way he fought Hit? Like, do you, were you like Hit happy about that? Because people were complaining about that. They were like, "It's not fair. He got knocked out." Like, what, what did you think? Hit of that? with Hit. You're dealing with a, a different a league. He's a hitman, and basically with this kind of power, he go he freezes timing moves there, and he just with that kind of power, your Vegeta. I don't think Vegeta knows like, knowing Vegeta as we all know. I don't think Vegeta would have done anything. He would have got his ass kicked, like it or not. I mean, as for Goku, hey, he's much more experienced fighter and just. He just seems like the better fit, and plus, it's just, it's his show, it's his story anyway. Dragon Ball is Goku's story in the end of the day, but yeah. So so what, what did you think of him just getting ringed out like that? Like, he just walked on out. Do you think that was, like, I, typical Toriyama, the, or? The, that was just, it was a surprising to me. I'm like, you just walked out. I kind of think Goku knew that... His body was gonna losing his edge. Like he was really like barely hanging on there with two power ups, with two powers. The Kyle Ken, which is a very difficult transformation because it has a side effect once you use it, and that's why we haven't seen it in such a long time. Because during Dragon Ball Z. When Dragon, when Goku turned to Super Saiyan, there was no need to go to this transfer right. to use the Kaioken. But when you use uh, the Kaioken, I feel like that was like last option, and he was also trying to use this to boost it up into a higher level on Beerus's level. And I think he's going to use this technique eventually in the series again, uh, but it's not going to do well. It's uh, not going to do well. Why? Because I think he's literally like, I don't, I, to me, I feel like he, it's, once you do it once, it, it might slip in the next time. It's a very 50-50 chance that it could work or it could not work. And I don't think he, it will do, like, do it at one time. So what you're saying then, like, is basically you, you believe that it, it may not work next time, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, but what totally. about, what about like him fighting Beerus again? Like, do you think that's going to happen? Absolutely, it will happen. But it and, will and happen. what's going to be the end of the result of that? You think? Uh, I think at the end of the battle, once Goku faces Beerus, it will probably be the ending of that series. Really? 
Yes, and I don't think that will happen in a very long time. Mm -hmm. Um, But as for Hit and Goku, it was a very intense, amazing battle. I was literally in a state of, oh my god, oh my god. The animation, the transformation was beautiful. And it's just like, hell, it felt like I'm watching a movie at at some points. No, yeah, you're right. I mean, there there was one point where uh, when Goku... I, I still say episode 39 was my favorite because... When Goku first transformed, it just looked so cool. Like, the sky got all red and dark, and, like, he just powered up. And then when he hit him, I was like, oh, my God. It, it, it was really, really great. But um, I'm just concerned that they might not bring back Hit because... We Hit don't... will come back. Hit will come back. I but what, what will he do? Will he fight again? Or will will, he... he will be with Goku for another film. Guaranteed. Positive. You said a and... film? No, no. Get... Villain. Oh, I as a well, I I wouldn't say he's gonna come back as a villain. What I no think, no no no, I say he will come back to help go. Well, to help go. Yeah, I was about to say that. I was about to say I think that Hit definitely is gonna be a person way, that is gonna help him out. The way he and hell, the way his response to Goku, I think he respects Goku in every fever way. And it was like, wow, this guy really is compliment. He's a little like giving him. Pointers like, hey, hey, it was a great match, and they both respect one another, and they, and hell, the way they look at Champa, oh my god! Yeah, that was that pretty was... cool. Like when they, when they, when he when he said that, oh, you guys are just pawns, and the way they turned that, I'm like, that was great. But so like like, would you say you're absolutely satisfied by this arc? Um. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um. I mean, would you say yes, it was better than and... Resurrection F? Um. To agree, yes, and to agree, no. Okay, uh, why no? No is I'm disappointed on almost every fighter except Hit and that machine fucking guy. Oh, my God. Okay, well, why, though? Like, you expected more from these characters? I expected more. Frost, I was hoping for him was he was going to be that fighter, was going to be that Frieza-type character, where he's going to be that good Frieza with Goku, and it's like... Oh, okay. This is gonna be cool. Seeing a good Frieza fighting Goku. Maybe they two both respect one. No, no, no. He turned out to be one of the most cocky, most most Frieza copy and paste you could possibly ever be. And I fucking detested that. As for, as for the Winnie the Pooh Bear. Oh, Motamo, uh, yeah. <laughs> Motamo, I still call him Winnie the Pooh Bear. I think he was disappointed because. We didn't get much from him, and he was like, he, he, you tell me none of Goku's attacks affected him, throw me something, give me something more he can do, and just, we didn't get none of that, and, uh, but as for Kabe, he was somewhat disappointed because he copied Vegeta's moves. Yeah, yeah, that I, 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 I see your points on this, okay. But I, they they kind of gave you that that whole friendship idea that you wanted with Frost. Yeah. They gave you that with Hit. Mhm. Because yeah, because I'm pretty sure nobody was expecting Hit to like kind of respect Goku anymore and just like give him that fight. But towards the end, like it turned out like it turned into a very awesome battle, as you said. Um. But yeah, I mean, I I, I see your standpoint on this. I I see why you feel that way. Um. But it is okay saga. It's just it's nothing like. Like, oh my god, that was a brilliant saga, like the Battle of God saga. The way the way Goku and Beerus fought, the way they retold the, the events on that, or hell, some of the events of the Resurrection arc. I mean, like, there were some things that were great about it. It's just, like, there was a lot of disappointments. And it's just, like, when we... It's just... When I, when I see these new fighters, I expected more, and I literally got two two out of six. Okay, I, 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 I see your point. Hell, hell, hell. For, you know, for Beerus' team, I was expecting Gohan and Boo to fucking do some, do some shit. Or hell, Piccolo. Piccolo should have had some literally... Yeah, least, I, I, I agree. Piccolo least, didn't do much. He was useless. It was pretty much two on five. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, that was another point I have with it. And just, yeah. I mean, going forward, I think we have a lot to look forward to because we have Zarama, the god, appearing. We have Zeno, the Lord of Lords. We have a bunch of stuff happening, so I think it's going to get a lot better from there. Um, I, I and here's an, and speak about those people. I think they are there for some reason. 
They can't be just there. Oh, we're just there for the dragon. All oh, the hunky doors. So no, 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 no. Something big is happening. They're like, if they're the higher lords of everything, and they're a, like powerful, like beyond measure, and that's why Beerus and Champa got to shit their pants when they saw them. It's just like, I think something. A vi- some villain is coming, and they're there to tell them we need your help. And that's, that that'll be really awesome if that were to happen. But I mean, there you guys heard it from one of the biggest Dragon Ball fans out there, comic book fan, nineteen ninety two. Let us know your thoughts down below as to how you guys feel about Dragon Ball Super in the future. Because Edgar just said that the you know uh, Zen- Zeno was there because. There might be a bigger threat happening, so if you guys believe that there is something big happening, comment down below and let us know, guys. Once again, thank you all for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Check out and the please, comic book fan. What was that? And, and please subscribe. And please uh, put negative comments down below. I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, people have their opinions. Let's, let's, let, let's, just, comments. Let, let's just see what they have to say. So thank you guys once again. Check out comic book fan 1992, and we'll be seeing you guys later. Take it easy, everybody. Peace.